So we quit our job uh, late December, uh, bought a ticket to Sao Paulo, and here we are. And now we want to document what we're experiencing the next at least seven months when we're traveling around South America. Yeah. We don't really know where we're going. We have no clue. <laughs> we just, we, we knew that we were going to be in Sao Paulo for some days. And uh, those few days are almost over. So already in two days, we have experienced a lot of things. Uh, first, we had a really, really short trip to Lisbon. Only six hours we had in Lisbon, but we had time to take the metro into the city. And there we met a very nice girl from, where was she from? Uh, She's from Italy. Yeah. I uh, studied in Venice. And I became here the last, uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, it was three months and after I decided to stay more time. She told us, just walk up this hill and you will find a very nice place. We were just wandering around and everyone had their laundry hanging out of the windows. We just wandered around and all of a sudden we were quite hungry. We found a very nice place named uh, Vosso Lispo. I do recommend the cod salad. Do you like cod? Yeah. yeah. The cod salad, mm. the eggs with chorizo. The burrata as well, so I don't know how much are you hungry. Burrata? What is, what is burrata? It's a mozzarella buffalo with ham and tomato. And then off we went back to the metro uh, and took the plane to Sao Paulo. In the metropole with how many people are there here? I think there are about 12 million people. I'm not That's... sure. first got in we had some hours of sleep and then we went straight out we wanted to see this park but on the way over to the park we popped by this local pub where we met a lot of really friendly Brazilian people who told us a lot of things about what we should experience in Sao Paulo and they started offering us beer and were so <laughs> so uh, nice we, to us yeah and we got the local drink many of those <laughs> No, Saúde! Saúde! Saúde. So we just hung out with Edgar, Gabriel, Sergio and a lot of other, uh, other people? friendly people from the neighborhood <laughs> we live in. Yeah. Which seems to be one of the friendliest neighborhoods I've ever been to. <laughs> They're very, very cute. Yeah. Everyone wants to tell us where to go, uh, what to see. Uh, and they said, we should pop by this park because there's a lot of animals just going around here. <laughs> we have seen so many birds <laughs> just walking around. No, just sleep. It's okay. It's just me. Hey. Hey, you guys. And we also met some very nice people there who were singing and playing guitar. And as Sofia always does, because she's a musician, she went over to them and asked, can I play a song? Du som kom der, kom der hjem Fortalte den gråtende elva De fjella, du er så glad i salen Der der, der er de å vente De fjella, du er så glad i we had uh, Sophie, Sophia's uh, lovely friend uh, called Gabby, who you met. In Machu Picchu, five years ago, we walked Machu Picchu together and uh, I just asked her, are you still in, in Sao Paulo? And she was, and she wanted to show us uh, her city. Villa Magdalena. Villa Magdalena. So now we're walking around this neighborhood called Villa Magdalena. Villa Magdalena. Uh, and it's all of these beautiful paintings on the walls, artists standing in the streets, uh, showing off their art, uh, their expressions, and it's quite... Uh, 
it's quite overwhelming how beautiful it is just within this huge city there's suddenly all of this all of these houses with this art everywhere and it's really really beautiful and then she took us to the market the central market and it was amazing so much food everyone wanted to let us taste uh, and eventually we figured out it was quite <laughs> expensive also yeah we bought some really really expensive uh, fruit i think we paid uh, uh, 200 real which is approximately 400 norwegian crown or 40 dollars yeah uh, <laughs> Not a bargain, I would say, but <laughs> it was really, really good. And uh, I would recommend everyone going there to this uh, market. And then she took us to the most famous shopping street in Sao Paulo, named the uh, Avenida Paulista. And we walked the whole Avenida Paulista. And then she took us up to this um, community house, which was really modern. It had a library, it had um, a technical department, it had uh, different things you could experience. And you can also go to the top and get this fantastic view over Sao Paulo. your thoughts about Sao Paulo so far, Sofia? I think so far I feel like the people we meet are very, very friendly. Uh, and the graffiti that colors the city is also very beautiful. Mm. And these green spots, like these lungs for the city, uh, I really enjoy. I think this would be my favorite places if I lived mm. in Sao Paulo. Mm. Um, Still, I think we have a lot to see, but there's a lot of poverty uh, and that's sad to see. It's uh... Yeah, that was my point. Uh, I think Sao Paulo is a huge metropolitan, uh, which has it all. You can find everything here. You can also see the huge contrast in the society between the poor and the rich. And there's a lot of poor people living on the streets and it's really sad to see. You can tell that Brazil is not in a really good state at the moment. But the people are very hopeful, especially with their new president. Mm. So now we have one more night and tomorrow where are we going then? I have no clue. Do you? No, me neither. Maybe Santos, maybe Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Or maybe somewhere else. Maybe <laughs> someone gives us a tip. We don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. See you. <laughs>